Today I wanted to talk about TikTok. Oh, it's on. <laughs> What's up with Sydney? Um, so today, I don't know why I say um so much. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about TikTok. So you're sitting at home during social distancing, isolation, whatever, and you're looking for some entertainment, right? So you probably downloaded TikTok. TikTok is sweeping the nation and I am the first person to be shocked that I am talking to you about a tutorial about it. So after you've downloaded the app, you've probably consumed hours worth of content without realizing it. Um, number one tip for you, set a timer when you're looking at the app. So you will fall down the rabbit hole that is TikTok quicker than you realize. <laughs> Give me some hands up in the comments if that's happened to you already. <laughs> I know it's happened to me so many times. Um, my second tip for you is after you've consumed a lot of content, start kind of realizing what captures your attention more. Because if you want to be a TikTok creator, if you want to upload videos and engaging things that really skyrocket in engagement and views, you want to see what's actually working. You'll notice the dances, you'll notice the audio that's trending, uh, you'll see the hashtags that are actually working instead of the hashtag FYP or for your page. Um, you'll start recognizing that. But I wanna give you two big tips that you might not have realized. The first of which is if you are including children in your videos, there's actually information in TikTok's guidelines and community rules that they're very, 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 very high level, like serious about keeping children safe on the app. So if your kid is in your video or you have a video with a kid in it, it is probably not gonna go as viral as something without a child in it. Now, case in point, my account. Most of my videos have Amelia in them and you'll probably notice that two of my videos that went absolutely freaking viral, they don't have her in them at all. So that's something important to realize. And the second tip that you probably won't hear anywhere else is that TikTok and Pinterest are very similar. So if you go to TikTok's search bar and you type in how to epoxy a table, you will more than likely find videos about how to epoxy a table. If you go to Instagram and search that, you will see either hashtags that say exactly that or account names that say that. So you're not gonna find necessarily any videos that have it as the graphic on the screen or information in the caption about it. You'll only be more kind of quarantined to the actual hashtag or the actual username. Second tip is TikTok and Pinterest are hugely driven by keywords. So think about your ideal client avatar and what they're searching. What is their big pain point? What is something that really entertains them? Do they find videos where dogs have human voices? Absolutely hysterical. Maybe you think about what you would search to find that and utilize that. Maybe you do it with your dog. Who the heck knows? Think about your keywords, prioritize entertainment, prioritizing giving them value with entertainment and keeping the videos short. 15, 30, 45 seconds, maybe 60 seconds if you have something really captivating, it's going to be amazing. TikTok is also huge about building community. So just like Instagram, you want to go and engage with other users that are in that ideal client avatar. And something else that TikTok does for you is it will show you on your For You page, people that are similar to you. So if you are engaging as you think your ideal client would engage, which I definitely highly recommend, they will show up on your For You page and they'll do the work for you. So and that's all about TikTok. If you want the PDF that I made to help you get to know TikTok basics, TikTok 101 for business, and just comment underneath this video that you want it and I will send it your way. You guys, uh, that's it. You can find me on TikTok at Sydney Delucci. Same thing as my Instagram. Any questions, hop in my DMs. And I cannot wait for my next training with you guys. Thanks for joining us.